A wonderful and blessed uh, day po sa lahat, especially sa lahat ng mga spiritual viewers, Luzon, Visayas, at Mindanao. And also to the world, sa Middle East, sa dyan po sa Japan, sa New Zealand, uh, sa Canada, sa Kuwait, uh, sa Bahrain, uh, Dubai, at sa ila, ibang sulok ng uh, mundo. Patuloy po tayo sa ating uh, pag-aaral about what does Christmas mean. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21, the Bible says, God made him uh, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become uh, the righteousness of God. Based on Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, she will give birth to a son and you shall call his name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. So ipagpatuloy po natin ang ating bagong series, What Does Christmas Mean to Us? <clears throat> so pag-aralan po natin what it means that Jesus came to save His people from their sins. So ang kahulugan po nito, kahapon, ganito po. It means Jesus has saved His people from the penalty of their sins. Ito po ang tinatawag na the doctrine of justification. Sa araw po na ito, ito po ang pangalaw. What does it mean na Jesus will save us from our sins. Ito po. He is saving His uh, people from the power of their sins. Uh, the doctrine of sanctification ang tawag. Inililigtas po ni Jesus tayo laban sa kapangyarihan ng ating mga kasalanan. So, kadalasan iniisip natin na ang salitang saved o ligtas in that past tense way na that is a saved us from our from the sins we committed in the past and set us uh, free from their guilt and penalty ito po ay totoo and uh, uh, blessed part of our salvation ngunit kailangan din natin maintindihan that Jesus came to do more than that <clears throat> ang bible word for sa bible word po sa word na save used in this verse can mean to deliver from uh, oppression or power uh, of some harmful thing. So when it says He saved us or He came to save us from our sins, it means that Jesus not only saves us from the penalty ng ating mga kasalanan or sins, but also from the power of sin in our lives. Dahil grabe po ang ang influence ng kasalanan sa ating buhay. So, para maintindihan po natin ito, naalala ko yung sermon ni Peter in the book of Acts chapter 3 na kung saan sinabi niya sa mga tao na napakhanga siya or he was amazed at the healing of ang mga tao, they were, ang mga tao rather, they were amazed at the healing of the layman uh, na sinabi niya, God sent Jesus to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. So, Jesus pala ay pumarito sa uh, mundo to forgive our sins. But only to forgive that sins, but also to give us a, the power to turn away from our sins. So, binigyan tayo ng Diyos ng kapangyarihan upang talikuran ang kasalanan. So, kapag tayo ay naligtas, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit of God comes into our lives and seals us as His. Acts 2.38 So wala po tayong kakayahan sa sarili lamang natin. Kailangan natin ang tulong ng Espiritu Santo. Kasi yung uh, benefit ng uh, ginawa ni Kristo sa cross ay tatlo. Yung, uh, una yung justification, pangalawa yung sanctification, at ang pangatlo yung assurance. These are the three major benefits sa ginawa ni Kristo sa cross. So ang sinasabi sa Galatians chapter uh, 5 verses 22 to 23 na ang fruit of uh, Jesus Holy Spirit ay nasa sa inyo. It includes goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Just what we need to war against sa mga pakarami mga kasalanan sa ating buhay, we do not have to be evil. For the Spirit has given us a spirit of power and goodness. For the Spirit has given us power and goodness. Hindi natin kailangang maging unfaithful. Hindi ba? For the Spirit has brought the power to be faithful. Hindi na natin kailangan pang maging harsh and angry with people. For the Spirit has given us the power to be gentle. Hindi na natin kailangang to be controlled by enslaving 
uh, by the ensla enslaving sins for the Holy Spirit has given us the power of self-control. So, uh, ang presence po ng Diyos sa ating buhay, it gives us a power over sin. Ito po ang tunay na diwa ng Pasko. Jesus will save His people from their sins. Dahil uh, tayo po ay bibigyan niya ng Espiritu Santo to overcome sin. Now, uh, kaya ating tandaan, Jesus came not only to forgive, but also to give power over sin in the life of every person He saves. Napakaraming mga Christians na parang contento na being freed from the penalty of their sins. But they continue dwelling in the same sins over and over. Paulit-ulit na lang, hindi nila binago ang kanilang boy. So patuloy pa rin nabubuhay sa lumang pamumuhay. So this is not God's plan for us. You remember in John chapter 8 the verse 11, yung isang babaeng caught in the act of adultery, sabi niya, ba, uh, woman, did no one condemn you? Sabi na babae, yes Lord, no one condemns me. Sabi ni Jesus, then go and sin no more. Sabi niya, neither do I condemn you uh, and keep going whatever you wish. Hindi po sinabi na ganun, na ikaw, hindi ko rin kayo i-condemn, pero uh, bahala ka na kung anong gagawin sa buhay mo. Ang sabi ni Jesus sa kanya, Neither do I condemn you, go and sin no more. Yan po. Na? So this is important uh, because uh, that is basically what many religious, religionists would affirm today na just come as you are and stay as you are, it does not matter. But that is not the message of the Bible. Ang kasulatan po ay nagsabi na si Jesus raw ay pumarito to save his people from there. Sins, not only forgiveness for past sins, but Jesus has the power to change our present sin. Ang sinabi sa 1 John 2 verse 2 when, uh, where it says that Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. Meaning propitiation means atoning payment. So but instead of propitiation, he said he himself is, the, is not the perpetuation for our sins. In other words, uh, uh, patuloy po si Jesus Patuloy na patuloy siyang nililinis ang ating mga pagka uh, makasalanan. So nakakalungkot. Ngunit that is the way to many people see Christianity. Akala nila, akala nila si Jesus forgives the penalty for their sins. Akala nila si Jesus they ca, so they can uh, forgive so they can confess uh, those sins and keep Doing, doing the same things over and over again, paulit-ulit na lang. Ngunit ang Matthew 1.21 does not say that Jesus came to perpetuate our sins. He came to save us from our sins. Meaning, uh, babaguhin tayo at bibigyan tayo ng kapangyarihan o power to overcome sin in our lives. Ayan po ang role ng Holy Spirit. So mayroon isang uh, Christian na member na sinabi niya na siya ay matagal nang naging believer Ngunit bit-bit pa rin niya ang napakarami niyang masamang pag-uugali o lifestyle sa kanyang buhay kristyano. <clears throat> Marami pa rin nga siyang mga bisyo. Ngunit he felt convicted na kailangan niyang magbago. Kahit pa alam niya na napakahirap ito. Ngunit sinabi niya, sa, sinabi niya that as he knelt and uh, uh, prayed, the Lord give me the desires of a non-smoker. In Jesus' name, sabi niya. At sa awa ng Diyos, nagawa niya ito. So ayaw na niya ang manigaryo. Hindi na siya comfortable rito. Distasteful na, hindi na maganda ang kanyang pangrasa. Just like it is to non-smoker. So as a result, kailangan niya itong i-give up. So binigyan siya ng Diyos ang power to stop. Yan po ang sanctification. Ito po ang isang bagay that God uh, desires to do in our lives. Deliver us. Uh, from the power of sin. So it is uh, one thing to continually say, Lord, forgive me for my sin. And thank God, there is forgiveness with Him as Psalms 130 verses 3 to 4, but there is also power in His salvation to change that you should not take for granted. He will give you the power not only to be forgiven for your sin, but also to stop doing it. So Jesus came not only to save you from the penalty of your sin, he saved you to set you free from the power of sin. So, kailangan 
ito ang uh, dapat patuloy na mangyayari sa ating buhay. Habang ikaw ay nabubuhay sa araw-araw kapatid, kaibigan, He will give you the power to overcome sin. That is why ang buhay po ninyo should gradually become more and more holy. Ito po ang process na tinatawag natin sanctification. Sanctified means holy. So sanctified, sanctification is the process of growing more holy. So dapat ito po ang ating experience lalo na tayong mga Christians. You are not to stay the same. Uh, you are to be growing. You are to be growing in holiness. Uh, Proverbs 12.14 Purso sanctification, 2 Corinthians 7.1, ang sabi po ng Biblia, let us cleanse ourselves from the difference of uh, defilement or rather of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. So these verses are describing a commitment in a process, so it is not going to happen instantaneously. So ang tanong ko ngayon sa inyo, bago ko kayo iwanan, ay ganito, is this the experience of your Christian life right now? Are you growing in sanctification? Are you experiencing the power of Jesus to save your lives from your sins? Are you more holy now uh, holy now than you were a year ago? Ah, kumusta na kayo? Five years ago. So if not, you are missing out on the part of what Christmas came to give you. The power to overcome sin in your life. So for many Christians, this is like an open gift that Jesus came to save us this Christmas. So we have to open the gift of salvation from the penalty but we have to neglect to open the gift of uh, power to conquer sin. Sa, sana uh, mayroon po tayong natutunan sa araw na ito. So remember Jesus came to save his people from their sins. Not only from the penalty but also from the power of sin in their lives. Maraming uh, salamat po at Sana mayroon po tayong natutunan sa ating uh, pinag-usapan sa araw na ito. God bless you and more power.